COVID-19 is crushing this corner of rural America. Getting the vaccine can still feel like an act of treason in Van Buren, the county's biggest town, we were sitting next to a 16-year-old when she got a text that masks would be mandated at school because about 20 kids had tested positive after just two days of class. One person we'd wanted to interview had to go to the hospital with a breakthrough infection. Another person found out the night before our interview she'd been exposed to coronavirus by a sick kid at church. People were gossiping about who had it and where they got it and whether there was someone in town who knew they had it but refused to isolate. Everybody's scared. Everybody's coming down with it. And it's almost like a plague, Brandon Helvey said. Helvey had had COVID-19 three weeks earlier, but he didn't want to get the vaccine yet, he said. He thought it was still unproven. I had both shots of the vaccine, and people just acted like, oh, it doesn't help, Cheryl Wetton said. It bothers me sometimes that people act like COVID is a big joke. I always want to say, well, why don't you just come right up here to the cemetery, and I'll show you my husband's grave. And I can show you it's no joke. Wetton actually did say that to a guy in town, she later confirmed. He just got real quiet. If you have it, everybody knows it. And they're talking about you, Tara Chitwood said. She was working behind the register at a souvenir shop, subbing in for her mom, who'd gotten sick a few days earlier. It was, more than likely, COVID-19, Chitwood said, because one of her mom's friends tested positive. But her mom probably wouldn't get tested, she said. It was scary, Chitwood said. Her own little girl had to quarantine. But there was no way she'd get the vaccine. Her mom had gotten vaccinated, she said, and got sick anyway. I've survived this long, Chitwood said, and then expressed a fatalism we heard a lot. She was going to die of something, eventually. The latest wave is the worst one yet this COVID-19 wave in Carter County is much worse than last year its public health center said. August was the county's worst month ever. The health center announced new cases on Facebook, in between pleas for patients because it was dealing with so many calls. August 20th, four new cases. August 21st, four new cases. August 22nd, three new cases. August 23rd, 17 new cases, one death. August 24th, 16 new cases. August 25th, 18 new cases. August 26th, 16 new cases. August 30th, 30 new cases. August 31st, 22 new cases. September 1st, 18 new cases, one death. The case counts were split between confirmed and probable because the health center didn't have enough PCR tests, the most sensitive available. On August 31st, the health center announced the state health department would send a team to do free PCR tests weekly. When we called Cricket Kester, the phone had a bad connection, and she couldn't hear us, if this is family, call back. Otherwise we're too sick to talk to anybody. We did call back, and Kester said she was glad. She and her husband were both vaccinated this spring and got breakthrough infections. She thought they'd be dead without the vaccine, and told us to put the word out that everyone should get it. The current river runs through Van Buren. It's swift and clear, and every summer, thousands of tourists come to boat or float down it on inner tubes. It's three miles of a joyful, often drunken party drifting past picnics on gravel bars and kids jumping off cliffs. That means a lot of jobs are in the service industry, and few people can work from home. They want to hide the fact that they're sick so they can work Debbie Turley said. You don't get vaccinated. You don't get tested. You hide your symptoms if you're able to. And you just go out in the community and spread the virus. Sometimes a rumor would spread that COVID-19 was running through a restaurant, Turley said. The locals would stay away, but the tourists wouldn't know. Turley already had COVID-19, and she was vaccinated, and she wore masks, too. I was actually exposed this week by someone who didn't know they had it, but they did have a cough, and they didn't stay home, she said. 
She'd also been in the coffee shop a few times not long before it closed. Nobody died for a long time, so it's taken a while for people to get serious Jim Roadbush said. The Delta variant is what made it more serious. It spread so fast. We've had, I guess, 15 people die here. Roadbush's wife Ruth fought cancer for 12 years, he said. COVID-19 killed her in 8 days. She died July 20, 2021. I talked to her up until the Sunday before she died Roadbush said. She said, this is bad, I think you all need to get the shot. And I think she's right. Neda had been vaccinated. Ruth had said her doctor had told her not to get the vaccine because of her chemo, wrote Bush said. I was pretty skeptical of it until I watched all this happen he said. Now, he plans to get the shot. Two ball headed to take the vaccine this is not a place that gets a lot of national news coverage. And it's hard to break into socially. People take care of each other in times of joy and crisis, but newcomers could be there 10 years without really fitting in, wrote Bush said. This meant just about everyone had seen our last story. Roadbush wanted us to talk about it with his buddy, Wayland Bland. He called him, and after a little convincing, Bland zoomed into the driveway in his pickup and called out to us to film the blue bandana on his face. He wanted us to film him saying, I'm a Republican, and I'm wearing this mask. Last fall. Bland spent seven days in the hospital with COVID-19. He'd had a kidney transplant, and knew he was high risk. Last year, Roadbush said, me and him and Ruth sat here and talked about it, and they both said, if we get it, we'll die from it. But Bland lived. What did you tell him, that I'm the toughest bastard there ever was? Bland said. It was exactly what his friend had said. I ain't taking that sh asterisk t. I ain't taking it. Bland said. He didn't want to detail why until he was pushed to explain why he trusts drugs like Regeneron's antibody cocktail but not the vaccine. He turned to Roadbush and asked, am I going to have to tell her? Roadbush laughed and shrugged. They shafted my president Bland said. He thought the vaccine was delayed intentionally to hurt Trump, a baseless claim. They wouldn't give it to him because they know damn good and well he'd be re-elected, and there'd be nothing nobody could do. So, they had to swindle around and scheme around and keep it from him, and just as soon as the election was over, bam. There we got it. I'm so bullheaded. You shafted me out of my president. I ain't taking your medicine he said. I'll take what they gave him, but I'm not taking yours. Vaccine doubts fester among those who feel lost, a doctor says. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.